วัสดีค่ะดิฉันชื่อวิภาวณีบุญค่ะมาจากมาเลเซียอยู่คณะวิทยาลัยนานาชาติค่ะ And the university is really big, and I noticed that people here, they, they, the girls and the boys, because in Malaysia the girls and the boys they don't usually mix together because it's Muslim culture, and here uh, the girls and the boys are like, oh come on, let's be friends, and it, sometimes it's very shocking the culture here, especially it's very unique. Like you see here, people are more open to. Um, freedom of different beliefs and practices. For example, as an example, girls can like girls, boys can like boys, and uh, it's really different from my country. But I've learned to like adapt to it. I think this place is cool. <laughs> Daily life. Sometimes I wake up in the morning because of the alarm clock. Sometimes my roommate wakes me up. And like I go to class and everything, and then around at night I'll come here or I'll go to a new square to run. And then uh, if I feel like going out, I might go out with some of my Thai friends. Sometimes we go to that walking street or we go to that market behind a new, which is really cool. Okay, I always end my words. <laughs> um, personally, not really, but uh, they do teach really well. They. Uh, they don't really look at books. There's no books here usually. They they will teach from what they know, which, in terms of my personal experience, is much better than teaching from books because I can read books on my own. But they, these teachers, they teach me like oh, from their own experience, like this is how Thai language works. This is how English language works. It's a lot different from ours. And then, but for the students, they know English. Usually they understand what I mean. Sometimes when I say like, I'm trying to say something in Thai, but I cannot find that word and I uh, replace it with English, they know what I mean. But they need a like she said, we, they need a little push for them to like express themselves in English much better because they know English. Thai students are really smart, but they just need to be a lot braver. Usually here, uh, usually I'm involved with the international students club. Like uh, like last time we went to Chiang Rai, some last time, uh, and I went to Chiang Mai with my friends. And around the university, sometimes I would go and teach some kids, tutor them, and mostly I don't do much. Um, comparing Thailand and Malaysia. Um, when it comes to Thailand, I notice that they teach a lot of life-based lessons. Like um, this is how you should communicate. Language is important. We uh, we should learn more than one language. In Malaysia, we learn like oh, today we're gonna learn English, we're gonna learn Malay, we're gonna learn Chinese in one day. We learn more practical subjects, and Thai people they learn more life-based subjects, which means the Thai students are. How to say? It depends on the country. The Thai students are more uh, ready for life, while for Malaysians we have to face it on our own. I'm not saying that Malaysian education system is bad, but there's a difference. And for Malaysian educational system, we use bilinguals. We we use like on top is either in, for my Chinese school when in my, I was in primary school, uh, we had. English and then we had Chinese for math and here it's for NIC it's all in English for Thai schools it's in Thai so it's different okay honestly I would like to do my masters in communication or performing arts I like arts if I get the chance I would really like to work in their um, like the entertainment industry for the background team, like the cameras, the editing, the writing. It's pretty advanced and I've seen the videos made by the students here during the sports days. It's, it's awesome. They have the drones flying and I was like, wow.